Uh, hello and welcome to another Coding Geeks with Gizmo. X. And um, today we will we will talk a bit about XSS cross site scripting, but very basic techniques. So maybe we go to the challenge I prepared online. Go to challenges, then browse folder. It's not installed yet. I I will install it when the video is cut. I will install it then. I think this challenge will also be zero points because it's really, really basic. And it's tricky to come up with a challenge scheme that that is not too easy and to generally to to check solutions for XSS is not easy because XSS cross-site scripting uh, it's under folder zero nine cracking. Okay. Yeah, it's tricky to to check solutions for XSS. Maybe you can also open the draft. Why is the draft not here? Ah, there's the draft. Markdown support still not working. Okay, yes. So we talk a bit about XSS. XSS means cross site scripting. Maybe visit the website, the OVASP link. Will be clickable one day. Yes. So cross-site scripting means you are running mostly JavaScript that you can control and then the browser from the target, the victim, is executing your code and is using its cookies for the requests and it could maybe lock you out or send money via PayPal or something if you are locked into PayPal and to find an XSS vulnerability. Or another use case maybe is you send me a link, I click it and it deletes my account on Reachel, for example. And this, this happens in the, on the client side. When we last time talked about SQL detection, this was a server side attack and cross site scripting happens on the client. So in browser or in Microsoft Teams maybe or Telegram. Yes. Okay. Okay, then let's please look at the, at the code sample. Mask one code. This link is clickable. And few page source, please. So we have a small HTML form with two inputs, username and password. The password can be deleted. I don't check it. And all it does check is in line 18, if there is a mask one button sent, in the request, it can either be get or post. It will just print the username. And maybe I just demonstrate and send you a link. Give me a second. I have to craft a link. Cross site scripting. Mask one code. So I will demonstrate. There is Telegram. I hope it works. I'm sending you an, a malicious link now. It does not seem to work. The link might not work yet because I have to URL encode it. Give me a second. Okay, this link should work. Please look in Telegram. And now you are, you're clueless. You just click the link mm -hmm. and it did not work. Uh, Got to patch the code a bit. Maybe click the link again. Mask one. Request mask one. PHP. Ah, it's not PHP code. Ah. Or. Um, let me check. You see, I'm not really well prepared. I did not, I did not test it. I thought, ah, oh, it will work, but. We will test. Easy, yeah. easy. Exactly. Cracking, 
cross-site scripting index Okay, I need to require the code, echo, nay, include, mask one code. Index. Okay, now please go to the challenge description again. Refresh. And there now it's the Vuln app is now included in the file. It did not work because the file was not named PHP. Mm -hmm. And if it's not a PHP file, the server won't execute the PHP code. It's just printing it. My bad. Mm -hmm. And so now I have to change the link a bit. But is it mask1.code or .php? Dot .code still. But I sent you a new link. Try this one. It's now going to the index PHP. And now you see an alert pops up. JavaScript got executed. And maybe if you are authenticated with Richel, I could craft a link that maybe deletes your account or sends a PM to another user. Mm -hmm. I could do, I could do actions in with your name, with your cookies. Okay. Yes. Now let's look at the code again. Page source. So in line 20, it's just printing the username you entered or I entered for you. It's just printing it out in the, in the HTML code. And because it does not escape or change the script text or the HTML text, you can inject script. And this, this is how basically XSS works. If you can inject HTML somewhere, chances are good that you can do quite some fun with it. Hmm. Uh, go to the challenge description. Um, and yep. now enter, enter username here, yes. In Vuln app number one. No, no. Yeah, there. There you can try to inject a script now. Okay, yes, try, try it out. Is it stored? Yes, it's a start. It's stored, I mean like... A uh, as, as, as stored XSS, you mean? Yes, why um, it's still, uh, like now when I try, okay, no, it's okay. Maybe try to inject the script yourself now. Mm. Yeah, you got the concept. And interesting to note is that XFS has quite some history and it's pretty dead topic, I think. There is not, not so much XSS injections anymore because the use is often not that big because, for example, try to inject a script with alert document cookie, closing script tag, mm. and it's empty, right? It's empty. Mm -hmm. And this is because um, browser vendors did quite some work and thoughts in how can we protect users from such XSS attacks. Because mm -hmm. if you, when, when XSS was fresh on the market, people just stole cookies. And if you got the cookie of your victim, you can do anything on the site sneak, sneakily. Nowadays, if you find an XSS vulnerability, vulnerability, you often have to find more attack vectors, like maybe the deletion of your account is maybe a funny thing to do with XSS, but that's also not so easy working because I cannot send you a link that does a post request to the delete form. If you want to delete your account, it's a post request and I'm checking for post. So if, if I send you a malicious link to, to click, it does, it cannot do a post request so easily. You have to utilize um, more JavaScript and then the link somehow gets too long maybe or suspicious. So stealing the cookie does not work anymore, but I'm thinking if we can delete an account, um, please log in as Opera. Password is eight times the one. And let's look at account. 
Answer Delete Account form yeah, to the yeah, top. Where is it? First tab bar uh, to the most right, delete account. Delete, hide, update, top, link. Top, 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 top. Delete, oh, should I click? Yep. And let's examine the form with F12. Mm -hmm. um, if we look, form, method, post. And I think server side, I'm also checking if it's if it's really a post request. Then mm -hmm. there is then there is a problem if you look at the form in the first TR in the first row on T body. Okay. Uh, expand T body TR. This is another technique to prevent XSS a bit to make it harder. Open TD. Okay, that's a code bar. What are you trying to find? Uh, the, the XSRF token, cross-site request forgery token. It should be in, in hidden input. Mm, can we search here somehow? CSRF uh, value. Yeah, exactly. And this this is a token to make it harder to to utilize XSS attacks. And on which shell the token is unique for every form. It computes it's a hash from the form. And to delete your account with XSS, I think we would need to first get the form page with JavaScript, extract the, the CSRF token. Then send a post request to the delete form and delete the account. Do you want to try but, out if it, if it works? And it should be with this value. And every refresh to the page, the value is uh, a new value, correct? Correct, yes. Mm -hmm. And this cannot be brute forced somehow. One, two, three, four, Tricky. five, seven, eight. It will be very hard. Mm -hmm. um, let's, let's try it out. Let's uh, uh, craft a link for, for Opera. Um, you take the URL from the challenge. Uh, sorry, which URL? Or, or, or let's let's start by coding JavaScript. Open the JavaScript okay. console. Mm -hmm. Console. Okay. Um, we first need to get the delete form now and we can do this maybe with with jquery do we have jquery here do uh, do the dollar sign dot get now round brackets now a string there's a url from the delete form this one or yes. which URL? yeah this is correct and then you need dot then dot say again I guess. Uh, then like if then then so the dollar get returns a promise and dot then is a function it takes a function uh, then round brackets semicolon maybe add it in notepad hmm. dot then yeah, semicolon round, round brackets it's a function okay enter and as a parameter we we, we send it a function as parameter you literally type function now round brackets curly brackets Mm -hmm. And the anonymous function has a parameter result. This is the result from the get request. Again, what is the body of the function? What was it? Uh, first, the parameters. The parameter, name it result. Name or oh, result, okay. Result. And maybe copy this to Notepad now hmm. because el else it might be lost. Okay. Then function. The function parameter called result, it's okay. Yeah, exactly. And then the body. Maybe as body do console log result. Next, uh, does it take uh, console.log and then result or dollar result or how it works? Only result. Okay. And missing an E in console. Okay, let's try this. Let's try this out. Assuming we are clicking a link that does this. 
let's try it in the browser console. Maybe we can invite Theron. If he is online. Yeah, he just came. Is he good at uh, accesses? Yes. Mystery Twister. Ah, oh, this is the challenges, but uh, this is the normal. What is uh, the more what? Mm. And the form, you get, you got the form back? Uh, this is what I got. I got the whole website, I believe. Yeah. Exactly. Kind okay, of. this this seems to work. And now we need to extract the, the cross-site script token. Okay. Mm. We extract it at best with regex. You want to extract what? Um, so we have in, in result, we have the website and now we need in the function, uh, let me Google for JavaScript regex. Okay. You see it's, it's the code is getting quite big already. Now we need, uh, inside the anonymous function, we need a, Oh, there's a special syntax. You just do slashes. So instead of console log, you now make two slashes. Here? Nope, in the body. What? All of this, you mean? Yes. Slash slash. Forward slash, please. This is short syntax for JavaScript regex. Okay. Uh, now in, in, now if we do the patterns between the slashes, um, the pattern is ah name equals um, quotes, double quotes, GVF, uh, GWF3 CSRF, and, and then a space. After the quotes or? There, yes, and then value equals with quotes. No, no. Uh, value without quotes and then equals. Mm -hmm. yeah. Value equals. Now we need uh, a, a matching group. Matching group is round parentheses. And inside a character class, ca character class is with array brackets, yes. And then uppercase A, A to Z. And with dashes? Yeah, maybe do lowercase as well and zero to nine. Is it like this with dashes, no commas? A to Z, yeah. A to Z, yeah. zero to nine. Okay. Yeah, perfect. So we have, and then we need a, a, a quantifier. We need a plus or, or maybe function brackets eight for eight characters but do a plus behind the array bracket. This means it's a character class and it, the character has can one to unlimited times. So it, it should match just fine. Okay, now we need to call the match function on the regular expression. Mm -hmm. So behind the slash, you need dot match. And it's a function and we put the result in there. Okay, so dot match and then? A, a, a function brackets, normal round brackets. And we put it into result? Normal round brackets. Match dot match. Uh, and then, uh, result, okay. And I think this should return the full string and as an array, first element, the full string and the second element, the, the array bracket one, should then have the CSRF token. So okay. after, the, after the match result, mm -hmm. after the match result, array brackets, uh so here yes and a one the second element 
I hmm. think this should this should be the CSIF token then. And maybe the console lock console lock all the stuff. Or maybe look at the anonymous function. So here do I need to add here the console to clock or or yeah. it will be above? Um I'd I'd say we assign the token to a variable. Scroll in the middle, in the middle a bit. Mm -hmm. uh, inside the function body, do... Let's do this cleaner. Uh, Where do you want to? I want uh, before the slash in name, before the slash mm -hmm. let or var, use let, let token gleich, oder tk, maybe tk, token, yes, equals. In Java, you put the var sign? You no, put the s dollar or without? Okay. You don't need them here. Token equal? Delete the quote. Yes, this that's this is it. Let token equals the regular expression. Okay. Ma and match, then we will print the token or console log the token, you mean? Correct. Okay. So will it be after? Will this work? Console dot log. So. <laughs> Jeez. You you're making me a hacker again. You're not a hacker, you are a notebook. <laughs> We both know it. No, I didn't. Okay. Get here's the account. No, you, function. You, There's you, something missing, or? The match, the match stuff is missing. Yes. Completely. Hmm. Warum auch immer. No idea why. Clear console. Let's look Why at Garon. Why I cannot test? Unexpected token. Wait. Control V. Console. Should we print zero? Let's see. If we put it empty, it should print everything, yes? Uh, unexpected token. Why unexpected token? Should we put the dollar sign? Okay. Nope. Which token is not expected? The first one or the second one? Let's delete the console lock. Let's do like this. Hmm, unexpected token. It complain about the let token. Hmm. Um, please Google for JavaScript regex. Token. It just seems like resistance somehow. Maybe the quotes are a problem. Yeah. So in the end. Yeah. The MDM source would be better. Which one? M uh, Z. Developer Mozilla, or what did you say? Yeah, yeah. Mozilla Developer Network, yeah. Mm. It's more re rep reputation, better reputation. Mm. Uh, we, we we try the second syntax. This was a short syntax for regex. Okay, where is it? Sorry, I uh, get a bit... Uh... There are... New, new regex. Scroll a bit up. Ah, there. And new regex. We need to write literally new regex. New yeah. regex. Mm -hmm. But wait, 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 wait. Where? Like where we need to add it before the before this? In, instead of the slashes. Instead of the slashes. Where did we put the slashes even? 
for the yes. regular yes uh, after, he... le after let token equals here maybe yes, token equals new regex reg it's case sensitive i bet except yes this should be fine yes a space Can after the new uh yes New regex, then function brackets, uh, exactly the round brackets, and then do a, a single quote for the string. And then here I delete the slash with a. Yeah, correct, and and then enclose the pattern in single quotes. Perfect. Before the name, yes. My trainee at work got better. Your trainee he's, at work, what? He got better in coding. He's making progress. It's very satisfying. He has now a, a project on his own and he's do, not doing too bad. Wait. Still token, unexpected token, let token equal. Did you close the single quote? Wait, yes. Or here? Yes, and then match. What about closing the, the function, the anonymous function? Did you close the function? Function result, uh, no. You need to close after the console lock. Wait, I, I deleted the console.log now. Okay, again, console.log token. Yes, and then you need to close the anonymous function. Uh, after the console log? Here. No, after but the then, semi, after but the then, semicolon. After the semicolon. Close the function. Here, you mean? No way. Here? Yes. No. Yes. Yes, and now you need. You need curly braces for the function. Is this curly brace? It's a function, anonymous function with, with a parameter result. No, 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 no. You see the, the curly brace before the let? Okay, wait, function, after the function. Do we need Round to open the, now this Round. is the parameter result, okay. And then here is the body of the function. Here is a curly, ta, 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 ta. Uh, we need to close it. So we will yeah. close it after, after the, the console yes. lock. After console lock. Okay. So here. Far more right. Delete the last character right. and put a curly brace instead. Here we have a function with the parameter. Here we have the regex. And then we this match result to one here is correct, yes? Yes. It's returning okay. the, the second array element of the match result. Yes, and then console.log token, and then yeah, the, this one I deleted. Delete the last, yeah. Hmm? Now curly braces, close the function, and now close the then. Now close what? The then function call. Where was Do the then? Wait, uh, the then, okay. So I close need a round here. bracket now. Uh, and this should be it. Mm. Uncode error, intermediate value. Match, match is not a function. Dot match is not a function. What about dot match? They don't like it. Maybe do let r or regex let r. We make a variable r. Let r equals the new regex. Where do you want to do it? Uh, rename the variable token. Rename token. Name it mm -hmm. r. Name okay. it r. Okay. And then. We do a semicolon after the after creating the pattern before the match call. Here? Yes. Mm -hmm. Now here let token or let t name it t for token. Let t equal r match. Now an r. The r is a regular expression. And the variable t will be the r dot match. You are calling mm -hmm. match on the regular expression. Exactly, okay. and then console log t. It's 
tricky, right? I thought it's easier. Our match is not a function. Then go to the MDN network again. My JavaScript regex is not the best. I rarely, I never need JavaScript regular expression. You don't have any best gizmo. Uh, scroll a bit down. Match. Return an array of containing matches, including action groups. Okay. And here, where is the match we have put? Did we put it between uh, round functions? We did. No. Value. We did. But now match. And we open, we put result. Ah, you are what maybe missing. We, we match against the result, against the website. Hmm. Maybe, maybe do double quotes after the plus in the pattern. Uh, after which plus? After the quantifier. Match one console here after this one. You want to do what after the plus the quantifier af, af, after the after the parentheses after the capturing group. Mm -hmm. What do you want to do there? A double quote. Hmm. Why you want to put double quote, uh, Gizmar? Because the value is over then. Okay, mm. you want to put double quote here? No. One one more to the right. Here? Yeah. It just looks better. we need this single? Nope. I think we need this for the regular expression pattern string. This is the single quote is the whole expression. This one? Is yeah. closed here, correct? Yeah, correct. So the name until and then this one. Ah, okay. So this one you mean after the value, correct? This was missing. Okay, makes sense. Yeah, but but it it should not matter. There must be something other. R dot match is unknown. Promise match is not a function. R dot match is not a function. Mm. Oh, because it's R dot match. If we made it match only, what gonna happen? No, it's a function from the match from the regular expression defined. object. Yeah. Mm. Go to MDN again. Match. Match is a function. It's a method. Prototype dot match. The match method retrieves the result of matching against blah blah blah. Dot match and then it takes a reg reg ah 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 uh, you know what, now reg we need we need to call match on the string on the result hmm. it's a string method not a regular expression method but it takes we, a regular expression we call the match on result on the, but we did call the match on a result. No, no, we are calling match on the regular expression, and this is not a method, this is not a function. We need result.match in brackets r. We, you need to exchange the variables. Hmm. I yeah. don't understand why, but maybe it will be clear. Uh, the, the match One method, day. the match <laughs> method <laughs> is Hacker. a... Is a <laughs> Hacker. Hmm. Can you just uh, to be sure I catch it up? Hmm. Now it uh, get it. What we have been doing instead? We we were calling the the method match on the regular expression, but regular expressions have no match method. Strings have a match method. Aha. Uh -huh, okay. Makes sense. Hmm. Yeah. So we we got the the, the CSRF token. Hmm. Now the next step is to do a post request to the delete form. Okay. Mm, open your notepad again. And maybe do an enter B 
before the let. Hmm. Now we need to extend the method, the anonymous function. We need to, to do a post call. Inside? Inside the anonymous function after the console log. Hmm. Uh, so here, huh? Yeah. Hmm. What do you want to do? Dollar, dollar is a jQuery object. Dot dollar post. Is, uh, post. Dot post. Uh. So the dollar is just a normal variable name in JavaScript. You can have smileys as variable names. You can have a dollar as variable name. Hmm. And, po and, and post what is was a, the dot? Is, is for method calls. Hmm. We are calling okay. the post. We are calling the post method now. Hmm. Uh, it's a function. You need parameter brackets. Mm. Hmm. You can put the same URL account delete as a string, and maybe open the jQuery post documentation. Wait, we will put this one. This is what you want. You will post this yeah. one as a parameter. Okay, and this will be the parameter for the function, correct? Yeah, is, correct. Uh, uh, is this a function or method again? The dot, the dot post should be a function, yes? Post is a function, a method. It's a method of the jQuery object. Dollar is the, the hyper global jQuery masterpiece. Hmm. Okay, and then the and body, the, function body? The, the curlies, we have no function body here. We are calling a method. We, we are not defining a method, we are calling a method. And now please open jQuery documentation for the post method. Your browser is slow. Very slow. You need uh, to write a browser, or I need to write a browser. Okay, jQuery post API. Yeah, uh, open it, please. jQuery.com. Mm. Yeah, perfect. Well, the first parameter is the URL. We did, we did this right, and the second parameter will be the post data. And Which we is need the, to. Uh, CSRF or? Exactly, we need the, the GV, GWF3 CSRF. We need to click the button. It, it Maybe we have to look what it's called. So we do, uh, we create an object now. We create an object, and you do this with curly braces. But wait. Now, the first parameter is the URL, so it's this one correct. And then, yeah. comma, the second one should be the data, which is the CSRF in our case, correct? Uh, not only. We create we, cre we create an object, a plain JavaScript object. You Like JSON, you do this with curly braces. Okay. Then I never dealt with this one before. Tell me what nope. to do. Uh, curly braces. Comma, curly mm -hmm. braces. Mm-hmm. And now this is an empty object. We now need um, a, hmm. a, JavaScript, a JavaScript object is a bit like a PHP array. Um, nope. We now put the GVF3. The T you mean, or the GWF3 underscore CSRF? Yeah, yeah, correct. Not the T, CSRF, then colon, now the T. And this, this, this is an object. This object now has one attribute named GWF with the value token. And now comma, we define the next attribute. And now we have to look at the source code of the of the website from the delete form. This one? Where do you yeah. want? Uh, type submit name, name equals delete. So the next parameter is named delete. So you do delete colon, no, 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 without name. Delete is the uh, name. Uh, uh, okay. Delete colon one. From where you get this one? Uh, this is default in browsers, I think. Oh no, no the browser sends the name. It's, it does not matter what you send. You cannot check anything there because it is the button text is sent. Maybe I could check server side if the button text is correct, but no, no need. Delete delete with a value of one and then we need oh that's maybe it let us look at the source code of the website again mm. i think that's it we cannot send a message text area name note so we can do note colon 
Where is the text area? Where did you see this note? Oh, what about the note? Which oh, this send is the note we are sending. Okay. Yeah. So we add the third attribute named note column, and this we send a string there. So you need quotes. And maybe you got hacked. So what we now need to do is to all encode all the string and send Opera a message, but let's assume Opera clicks the link and we can all encode it correctly. But now you, you see, we, we could send such, such a link with such a JavaScript and then it would execute the code. And let's assume we clicked the link, fire it up, enter. I did. It gets uh, stuff. Now I should got an. Now I should got an email permission denied. Hmm. I think it's deleted already. Otherwise, it logged me out. Let me see if I got a mail. Oh, Opera it's account deleted. deletion. It got deleted. Fuck, hmm. it worked. Uh, I didn't say this. No, you didn't. So I, ju I just got an email. Just got an email. Opera hmm. got deleted. So you see, this is the impact. XSRF or XSS still works, but you have to do some extra trickery to make it to make it happen. And if if we now all encode, if we now append the string to the to the link we sent to the victim, hmm. you have to all encode it. And maybe let's do it. Um, open console again, hmm. and. There is a function called URI, URI encode, URI encode. URI. Aha, URI, URI. URI error, URI, URI encode. I encode URI, encode URI, my bad. Mm -hmm. Encode URI, and now you, it's a function, round brackets, and it takes one parameter, a string. And now you put quotes for the string mm. and you, you need to put quotes around it. We'll do, we'll do. Encode Yuri and then we need the quotes and then our command or? Yeah, our evil script. Mm -hmm. And now what, you need. Wait. Now you need. Uh, just to be easier for you. Hmm. Here now is you script. Yeah, let's let's paste it in Notepad again. And here it is. Okay. And now the problem is, you need to escape all the double quotes because you chose double quote as a string. Could we make it uh, single? Yeah, it's maybe more clever. Now you need to uh, escape the single quote. There is, uh, but there is no single quotes inside, or? Ah, uh, here. Okay. So, should I add this uh, slash? Backslash, yeah. Exactly. You can remove console log T. Mm. to save a mm. few bytes, but we don't care. Uh, mm. And now execute this script. And code you is, is uppercase URI, I think. We'll see if the browser uh, screen. Clear console. Okay, uncode. What was it? Uh, uppercase uh, E or? Uh, uppercase URI. URI. Not very consistent. Encode U an E missing? R I. Encode URI. An E was missing. An, an E. Uh, oh, after the D. Yeah. Good. Hmm.
you see it, for example, it turned the dollar, it turned the dollar into percent 22, for example. Hmm. And 22 is a space, or? It's double hmm. quote, I think. 20, I mean, 20 space, 22, I don't know. And other special characters. And of course, we need the script text as well. You need to put script text around it. Okay. But so now, uh, where do you want to put the script? Oh, mm -hmm. but uh, here? So this will be inside the script? Or? Correct. Script. And then we need to encode the script as well, or? Correct, correct. Hmm. And the last double quote is from, from the JavaScript interpreter output. Finally, this it's this, yeah. And, and now, yeah, and now you have the dollar 22, uh, the percent 22 is also wrong now. This one. Because because now it would and you re encode the percent into percent 35 or something okay understand understand okay so don't get under here all the rest should be there or no it should but anyway i believe i got put put put, put it put it in the in the text open notepad again please hey. the upper there you have a, a working version. Now put script text around it. Script. And that's our post request missing. Mm. But then we let's just take it from here. This was the working one, correct? This should be the working one. Yes, this one. Should we URI decode it? Yeah, you can do this. Good idea. Okay. Decode URI. Paste. Okay. And now we got this one, yes? Mm -hmm. So let's delete all this. Let's make here. There we go. So you wanted, we want to skip. We want to put our script, our script. And then we need to back to escape the single quotes. Yes. Yes. Backslash. Yes. The first one. Let's see. Okay, here is this one as well. That's it. No more uh, dots. Yeah. Okay. Now we are to. Now you want to encode this one? Yes. Correct. U R I. Encode U R I. Mm. <laughs> Why? Why you are very stupid. Clear. Okay, clear, please. Why it doesn't clear? Clear. Good. U R I encode U R I. Good. And then we put this one. We put this one. Single quotes, yes. But now we need to delete this. And there is decode now. I don't know, I get like very decoded. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm a bit very, decoded myself now. I'm not very familiar with uh, console. Yeah, but anyway, if we get this, this one, console sucks, maybe yes. prepare, it, prepare it in Notepad. Yes. 
uh, we just take the okay send uri encode uri encode do, do all in note do all note in notepad yes so i will take this one here yeah perfect like this you need single right. quotes uh no double no yeah. single quotes single quotes so we don't need to escape all the double quotes we just need to escape two single quotes yes 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 correct sorry we escaped already the single quotes inside yes makes sense my bad so here we go we delete this we clear console we paste include uri and that's it done hmm. okay now we prepare the the evil link and the evil link is the challenge url you take you take the encoded string now to notepad again hmm. the the outer double quotes are from javascript interpreter hmm. delete these yes and now we append this to the challenge url maybe log in is opera 2 also eight eight times one i think is it <laughs> like old one to us old mm. 2011 you don't feel guilty deleting this one no no this is my account but it's 2011 so that's good yeah it's <laughs> anyway. a it's a it's a test account for watcher it was a test account for watcher i for, mean but for... you you kill it after uh, how many years it's yes, 15 it's, years it's a, old now it's a test account okay and we need the challenge url now the, mm. the url at the top the url is at the top and now you append a question mark and the evil string but after should i enter the parameter username or does it matter yeah, yes you need question mark username equals okay and then the evil string and then an ampersand mask one equals zero uh, equals one we are checking if if the button was clicked that's the evil link Username equals. There is something wrong. Username equal, yes. I cannot read it. Question mark username equals. Hmm. The script, is not, the script is not your encoded the the html brackets maybe but open notepad strange. again Wait. open notepad again Jeez. yes now craft the url here should i enter it in username instead nope we'll come back here but it gets it as it is because the browser is URL encoding your URL encoded string. I want to show you, uh, open, please uh, take the, the URL mm -hmm. Unt until chapter 9, until username equals. Perfect. Okay. Because the, the complete URL takes the com complete URL. I take this one copy. Yeah. Okay. then your evil script mm -hmm. i put it after username equal yep okay and then you need ampersand mm -hmm. mask one equals one for pressing the button 
And this this is why you need to your link code. If you use an ampersand in your in your usernames or stuff, it needs to be your link coded. Else, it would confuse the parameters. That's that's why you have to all encode variables. Okay, but now should I encode the ant? No, no, no. It's perfect. It's, this is a, a wanted parameter. Mask one parameter for the for the vulnerable script. Mm. And now you take the complete thing mm -hmm. and send it to your target. But let's say I'm the target in this case. Yeah, and enter the link as if you clicked it. Hmm. We'll come back. And now it should delete you. Hmm. But I believe I, it could be something. Why it gets the why it gives the stuff? Why it like like why did it URL decodes a script? I put it. I encoded it. Or why yeah. you put it back as a script? Why? I have no idea, and now it's not working anymore. Hmm. Open Notepad again, hmm. and send this link to Telegram. Are ah, you not? You're not logged in. My poor, my poor Opera. Well, the lesson here now is that it's quite challenging to work against all the measurements. Like you cannot use document cookie anymore. You need CSRF tokens. Then uh, there is an option for, for browsers, for website creators that you can say uh, in JavaScript, in, in jQuery requests, you, you are not allowed to send cookies and you are not logged in. Is, mm -hmm. is, a, is a measurement, this, this helps against XSS. Then browser vendors implemented own XSS protection like Edge and Chromium maybe. They they did some filtering that that script cannot be injected so easily. Well, what is XSS? We have talked about it. It's about breaking out quotes again. And the question now is how do we what how to how to fix the script? the demo one or how have I named it? Mask one. If you look at the mask one code, few page source, the problem is in line 20. And I will now take a short break and you maybe start a new recording and think about how to prevent, how to make it safe. Okay, see you in about half an hour. If you click the evil link, now, Look at the source. Um, what should we search for? Count deletion, for example. Look for delete. Yes. Hmm. This is this is for language switcher. This is not what you're looking for. Should be this one here. No, no. If you scroll a bit to the left, to the left, this is for the for the language switcher in the top menu, and it is it is remembering your all, so it redirects you back. You are looking, you have to look farther down. There. We'll come back to this one. Yeah, this is, and you see the, the HTML brackets are intact. It should work. Hmm. Script get HTTPS and function result. New rabbit It looks looks fun. Ah, I see it now. I see it. Is it we need to close? Uh... No. There's there's a there's a space space got lost. 
which space where here where is the space a, a plus a plus got lost a plus got lost because a plus is a space in all encode and mm. by de decoding it back it got lost the plus here is important so then let's patch the link why it gets lost because you all encoded it then you all decoded it and spaces are not allowed in yours and plus is a space so the, the the plus got converted to a space which was wrong in the in the decoding process we had all encode decode problems Continue. open notepad hmm. there the plus got lost should be directly after the the class here yeah and you can also open telegram mm. copy the link above this is the top link this one yeah copy it put a notepad and now we mm. add the plus plus manually it's here yeah you have to encode it uh looks at the hex for the hex value for a plus we encode it manually now should be 23 nope 43 to be to be yeah percent to be or not to be yeah okay then let's copy the evil link send it to yourself telegram works fine are you authenticated no it get deleted i believe hmm. it worked it worked yeah you hacked me again okay so we have made an XSS attack and you can see you can run JavaScript code in the name of the user then and again um, browser vendors are building in protections against such attacks it's, it's get harder and harder but um, I ask you the question how to how to fix the script I wrote You know the the mask one. You know. We should filter here. We don't accept the script. Yeah, exactly. And there is uh, a method for this. It mm -hmm. replaces it replaces HTML brackets and double quotes, and optionally also single quotes. But you have to specify it and. The, the PHP method is named HTML special chars. Okay. Maybe go Google for it. Ugly name. Hmm. And for single quotes, you have to give a, an option end quotes. End is for entity, is short for entity, HTML hmm. entities. Um, it should also replace in, in, integers. The in flags integer. are an, it, it is an integer. The flags are an integer bit mask. And you can see it 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 encodes ampersand as amp amp. Ah, uh -huh. entity. Sorry, entity codes entity substitute entity HTML. Okay. Then it, enco en it encodes double quotes into ampersand quote semicolon. It encodes single quotes as ampersand hashtag 039 semicolon. But you have to set end quotes. If you don't set end quotes, it does not encode single quotes. It's also a pitfall. And then it encodes the array brackets less than and greater than as ampersand LT for lower than and GT for greater than. Okay, good, good. Yes, and then there's HTML, HTML special child decode 
is it's the other way around. You can, if you have an HTML encoded string, hmm. this is the other way around. Cool, cool. Um, then interesting a pitfall is it does not encode single quotes. There is, if you use HTML attributes with single quotes, you can break out. It's hmm. often the case that that your input lands in an in between co quotes, and if you if the programmer used single quotes and did not set end end quotes, then they are in bad luck. Um, please open the draft again. Okay, this was how to output user input. Ah, yes. The next class set awareness. HTML special class expects UTF-8. Hmm. But maybe somehow you can convince the web server, oh, I'm using UTF-16 or maybe Chinese or Korean class set. And then HTML special class might not be enough. Should make a challenge. Should try it out. I'm not. I'm unsure. But yeah, you have. If you do not use UTF-8, you have to be aware if this might cause security problems. Then other attack vectors for XSS are maybe header injection. Maybe you can inject new lines into the HTTP header and tricks the, and tricks the web server into thinking of other char sets maybe. Then an often used attack vector is all injection, for example, open notepad. And make an HTML image tag, just the image, IMG equal, uh, source equals, yes, double quotes, very good. And then maybe here we got user input, and he is using HTML special chars, so we are in bad luck. What do you think? Why should is... the user have to input something in image source? I'm not sure. Maybe if he uploads, if he uploads a file, and can, and yeah, maybe if he uploads the file and the server is putting the file name there, could okay. be an option. And maybe do PHP here, PH, PHP brackets open, HTML brackets again. What do you want to do here, PHP? Yes, uh, lower than, question mark, PHP. Mm -hmm. And then maybe echo dollar input. And around the input, put HTML special chars. Was it like this? Yep. And function brackets. Pa parameter brackets sound better parameter brackets. Um, and this, if you control the input, he is using HTML special chars. Is it safe? It should be safe, yes. Well, open your browser. Hmm. Enter the following URL, JavaScript colon, Alert one. Should work. JavaScript colon. Not working here, as this might be 
might be prevented by the browser vendor because they think JavaScript tools are unsafe. Cannot hmm. because it is a valid URL, but it causes security problems. I could just send JavaScript links around and people might click it and bam, XSS. So most browser vendors maybe disallow this. Hmm. JavaScript colon. No, no, colon. Hmm. You see, and we did not use double quote. We did not use single quote. We did not use smaller than or greater than. The URL is valid. You have to be careful a bit. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. Hmm. Undefined. Yeah. Open the draft again, please. Yeah, and then a last question I had is cross site scripting mostly dead? And maybe let's let's uh, discuss another topic. There is there is stored XSS and there is injected XSS in or or your your attacks. Now we did the we did a URL attack, we sent a malicious link. But you have to, to read and click the link. But now what if you can smuggle in JavaScript code and put it somewhere on the side, maybe in the about you page, use JavaScript there, bam, XSS, but it's stored XSS then. It's executed for everyone visiting the page where it is shown and it's, stealth, it's more stealth. So if you look for XSS vulnerabilities, you probably want a stored XSS vulnerability where, where it's not so obvious because if you see the link at Telegram, it looks a bit fishy, right? Hmm. But but maybe not too, too much. Long URLs are not uncommon. People cannot understand the, the URL encodings and stuff. Too lazy to read, easily clicked, bam, owned. Yeah. Hmm. And then the question is cross-site scripting mostly dead. It's difficult to answer. It's getting harder and harder and people get more aware, but it's definitely not dead. It's not the best vulnerability you can find because you have to interact with clients at best with a stored XSS, but it's not dead, but it's also not a very good vulnerability. It's there are better ones. Okay. Any questions? No. Is it separated in the, like one site from another site, like this one, for example, ChatGPT, this one, WeChat, mm -hmm. site access the cookies for this website? Um, if you, if you find a vulnerability on, let's say the left side, on the green one, huh. if you find an XSS there, you cannot mm -hmm. do post. You cannot do post requests to WeChat. Okay. So the, the the account delete is safe if you can place a link from on another side. If you find an XSS on WeChat itself, it works. But if you find an XSS on another side and then think, oh, then we call WeChat, it does not work. Not with post, only with get. And but does the website, like how the browser separate? So, for example, if I have XSS here, so let's say document.alertcookies, as you have done. But why can I document.alertcookie for another website? You or can't. It will not work, it will not work cannot. today. It will not work anymore today. Document cookie is, it's very rare. It got very rare that you have access to your cookies in JavaScript. It, they get mm. automatically sent. If you do a get or post request, the cookies get automatically sent, but you cannot read it out with JavaScript. It's a security measurement. Hmm. HTTP only, I believe. It's called or? Mm. I'd say this is domain isolation. Okay. You can, you, you cannot do post, post request like you wish in the web, does not work anymore. Maybe, 
maybe we write it down. Encodings. <laughs> Code concept networking, maybe. I'll note this lesson down for another day. Cool, cool. But five cores. Yeah, and you see, it gets trickier and trickier. A few, a few years ago or 10 years ago, you could just say, uh, make a get request to an evil site with your cookie, bam, owned, can do anything. This does not work anymore. It gets harder and harder and modern frameworks make it hard to make mistakes that XSS is possible. A good framework has a nice template engine. And it's tricky, it's hard to get a vulnerability there because the frameworks take care of it. But of course you have to watch and sometimes you do not want or do you do want HTML in your, in your text files maybe, in your language files. And then you have to disable HTML special chars for that part. And when there is an injection, then it works again. But it gets harder and harder. Other questions? Apple first, good. 80 users, 80. A good day for each other. And the 77 from the, from the footer are authenticated members at once. So there were 77 people authenticated at the same time. And the 80 from above is locked in within one day. One trillion time, or is that one million? Million. One billion. Trillion. No billion. This is oh, six hundred thousand million billion. One billion. Hmm. And we finally got rid of the Opera account. Okay, so I think there are no further questions. I will, when I install the challenge, I will maybe make it so that HTML special chars is a solution. And the question is, which function prevents XSS basically? And then your answer is HTML special chars, and then you made it. Maybe one point, maybe zero, I don't know. And we have also one or two XSS challenges here, maybe three. If you go to challenges. There's Opera 3? Really? Hacker. Or fo Forum 666. Uh, go to challenges, please. And uh, two XSS challenges only, then three. No, we have three, I'm sure. But let's close this video so we close it. Yeah, perfect. Then thank you very much for today. We'll meet again. Thank you.